Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. This is an unboxing for the Willow Nook box. If you are not familiar with this box, it is a mix between a home decor and a self-care box. I have unboxed it once before during my 25 boxes of Christmas for 2022. If you have not seen that, you can click up there and go watch it. It was absolutely an amazing box. I love how well put together and coordinated all of the items in the theme were. So I was really excited when the owner of Willow Nook Box decided to reach out to me and send me this box for free for review. This is the spring box. It is $99 a quarter. And I can't remember if you have to pay shipping. I will have that information in the description box. I do have a code. If you want to sign up for the subscription and it's your very first time getting it, you can use the code LW10 and that'll give you $10 off of your first subscription. And then I also have a code LW20, which will give you 20% off of your first time ordering on their shop. Now on their shop, they have past boxes and items for you to go and check out. Each box will have at least one handmade item and every box will have a recipe. And you guys know how I love getting recipes and boxes. They add such great value, great for self-care, and I love trying them out for you guys in videos. I am truly amazed for what this business owner is able to do. And through talking with her, I learned that she is a one person business and she runs it out of her home and like she does everything, you know, sourcing the products, putting everything together, sending it out. And that is truly amazing. So this is also another great way for you to support small businesses. Cause she is truly a small business. All right, let's check to see what we have for the spring box. Ooh, I see more bees in here. So I'm wondering if that's a reoccurring theme that she may have in several of her boxes. Look at the bee packaging that we have here. I also see a little bit of a floral aspect to it. And then we have the product guide. Willow Nook Box, the spring 2023. Hello, dear friend. Spring is in the air and the season of rebirth is upon us. As we climb out of our winter cocoons and feel the warm kiss of sunlight once again, as the days get longer and new life begins to bloom around us, we feel energized and motivated. Use that boost to try a new experience this season, but don't forget to pause for a moment each day and take in all that spring has to offer. Bright florals, refreshing citrus, and the inspiration behind this box. Use the items you've received to add a touch of spring to your home and a routine. I sincerely hope you love everything in your spring box. How fun, the card is a little bit different than last time, I think. I love the little design that we have here. Really adds a touch of spring. All right, I see some big items, some colorful type items. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the colorful type one. I'm loving the colors that's on it. Ooh, is that a magnet? That's cool. Uh, it has bees on it. It looks like a little beehive as well, or a bee, maybe not a beehive, maybe a bee box. Let's see. Ooh, is this a jar opener? Yes. A lot of times when I still have trouble opening a jar, I'll grab a kitchen towel and I'll put it on top of the jar and twist to try to open it. A lot of times it does help, but what I love about this one is you have the soft, beautiful, decorated material on this side, but on this side, it's more grippy. I don't know what material this is, but it feels like it'll have a grip. So it'll grip onto the lid so you can turn with better ease. And it does have a magnet here, so you can just stick it to your fridge and that way you always have a jar opener close to you, a $5 value. All right, next, I see this little thing here that is wrapped up. Oh, okay. This is a True Roots handcrafted artisan soap. Citrus and mint solid dish soap used with coconut oil and citric acid. Coconut oil is amazing. I love the little jar that it's in too, and you can totally reuse that after you've used up all the soap. That's really cool. It makes it dual purpose. So the citrus and mint fragrance, this solid bar dish soap comes in a reusable ceramic ramekin. We have included a brush with this item, $10, and it is handmade. Oh, this is handmade as well. So far, that's two handmade items in this box. Let's see, I have not come across the brush that goes with it, but I'm sure we will as we get deeper into the box. 
I will say that citrus and mint, I think, pair really nice together. I don't like eating mint, but I do like the scent of mint. I think it's very refreshing. So something that I think is a really good placement for the kitchen. Next, I see a Willow Nook Box sticker. This is so beautiful. It has the little tulips on it. I think they're tulips. I'm sorry, I'm not well-versed in floral things, but they appear to be tulips to me. If it's not that flower, you can feel free to tell me in the comments. All right, next we have a hanging plant propagation station. Oh, okay, so this is probably great for growing your own herbs in the kitchen, I bet. I mean, you can't have huge plants there, but little plants, I can definitely see being helpful in your kitchen. The propagation station is an easy, fun, and attractive way to propagate herbs and houseplants indoors. Set it up in minutes and watch the magic happen year round. It has a value of $19. Oh, and all these tubes are wrapped very, very carefully to keep them from shattering. I do appreciate that a lot. And here's the little the little system, the little thing that's gonna hold it all up. That's so cool. It also comes with a brush to clean. All right, I just wanna get a little sneak peek at one of the jars. Super duper cute. Look at that, and it just hangs in there perfectly. It has that little bit of an edge around the top so it keeps it from falling through. Beautiful, I love the simplistic look to it and I think it'll go great in anybody's kitchen or wherever else you want to put it. But for me, definitely the kitchen. If I can get that set up before I have to edit this video and get it out, I will try to take a picture for you guys. If not, be looking for that in the future in the kitchen. All right, next we have this large basket. This sucker is huge. What does it go like? Oh, it has like belt-like straps. Interesting. I found the brush that goes with the dish soap. This is a nice brush. I actually have a brush that's like this that I've gotten from Grove, and I love that it'll go with the design that I already have in my kitchen. It'll pair very, very nicely, um, and that's a way better brush than I thought we were gonna get whenever it first said it came with a brush, so totally happy with that item. Okay, and I do have another item in here, but before I pull it out and get to it, oh my gosh, there's two brushes. Whoa, that's awesome. Did not expect to have two brushes. It's like a bonus. This is a pretty, pretty big basket. I wouldn't say it's circular, it's more oval. It's an oval type basket. Straw basket backpack. That explains the belt-like feature that we have here where you thread it through like a belt. I don't know that I've ever seen a bag quite like this before or a basket. I'm just truly fascinated by it. Like it's one of those things that really makes you like getting subscription boxes because they're things that you don't see at an everyday store, things that you may never have known that you needed. And that is why I have been so impressed with subscription boxes in the past, is getting items like this. Good quality, nice thick basket weaving here. Minimalistic Moroccan craft. This versatile straw basket includes both hand and backpack straps. Hand woven by artisans in Morocco. It is a $58 value, which I think is a really good value. You know, I feel like it's an accurate value and it's just really cute and I love it. I would probably do more of the straps, but if there was a need for it to be backpack, I love that it has that option as well. So it's a win for me. The next item, there's actually two gifts in here. Wow, that is so pretty. And it's microwave and dishwasher and oven safe. I have no idea what it is. Oh, maybe it goes this way. I was like, I do not know what this is, but I'm glad it's all those things safe. But okay, that's cool. Oh, and it has a lid. Nice. Okay, that's really pretty. Just off the bat, it's a very neutral color. I love the speckles that are on it. It does feel and look handmade, which I think makes it unique. You know, it does have a little bit of roughness on the inside with some of the areas, but I think that's fine for the inside of it. The outside is smooth. Oh, that's 
cute. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. This is like a sugar and creamer set. I love how they match. This one is more speckled on this side than it is on this side. It doesn't say homemade here or handmade here, but it definitely has more of a handmade feel to me. Again, microwave, dishwasher, oven safe. I don't know why you would need these things to be that way if it's for sugar and creamer, but do people heat up their creamer? I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm still new to the creamer thing, but I do love that they're a set. They go together, it'll again be gorgeous, and it'll work in many, many, many kitchens with the neutral tones. $24 value for those two things. We're not done, we have a couple more things in here. So the next item is a room in lemon, <laughs> lemon, <laughs> a room in linen spray in citrus. I think that's a great scent. $9 value and it is handmade. Looks a little bit like some of the room and linen sprays I'd get in some other boxes. It's from Hudson Valley Skin Care Citrus Fragrance Spray in a Room or Over Linens for a Refreshing Scent. Again, love the citrus. Two more things. This is a Petty in a Box Deluxe Four Step. It's tangerine, so another citrus scented item. I love how she's keeping the scents citrus all throughout so they'll all go together, all gel together if you decide to use them. Them, you know within the same time period a seven dollar value by Vosch New York tangerine twist fragrance treat yourself to a home spa day and get your feet sandal ready with this four-step pedicure in a box so step one sea salt soak step two sugar scrub step three mud mask and step four massage butter I'm gonna have to try this out I don't think I've had a four-step pedicure in a box before that sounds really really interesting I might actually try that today if I have a little time. This is my first day off to be able to like film and not have to be up at work at the school in weeks because I had to take other time off for Azalee's dance travels. So I had to work on my filming days to make up for it. Seriously, because it has just been a very stressful, exhausting, but also fun and amazing couple of weeks but I am glad that it's over or it's coming to an end for, you know, like a little bit of a break so that I can get back to my work that I really love and that is hanging out with you guys here on YouTube. One more item and it's the recipe. Really excited about this quarter's recipe because it is a lemon blueberry scone. I love how she prints it on a beautifully decorated art print. You know, we have a picture of a blueberry scone down here. It's got the greenery in it with the ingredients and the directions. I don't know that I've ever made a scone before at home, so this will definitely be an adventure for me. Maybe on a day that I could have like an indoor tea party with the girls, make some scones, have some tea, you know, make a whole event out of it. That sounds really, really fun. Lemon blueberry scones. Each season we include an original art print featuring a different recipe this spring. Try your hand at Liz's Lemons Blueberry Scones. Recipe art prints are available in the Willow Nook shop for $18. So if you wanted to buy your own art print, you would have to pay $18 for it. It is printed on maybe cardstock. Okay, just as a recap, we have this amazing Moroccan made basket here. This four step pedicure, citrus, linen, and room spray this creamer and sugar set, this ramekin with a handmade citrus and mint soap with two brushes. I kind of think that the second one was a mistake because the product card just says a brush and I got two, but it's okay, it's a bonus item. We have the art print for the blueberry scone, this really beautiful flower willow nook box sticker, and this really cool handmade jar opener. Then the hanging plant propagation station, which is something you know unique that I don't already have in my kitchen. Overall, I would say it was a very great box. I love how it all goes together. It's pretty much all items that you would need or want in the kitchen with the exception of the pedicure. And then of course you can use the basket in any areas of your house. You can put it in the bathroom and have like towels like rolled up in there in a decorative type of way. You can use it in many different ways. You know, use it when you're going out to a picnic. You can use it for lots of things. So most items I would say were geared towards the kitchen this time, not all of them, but I love how they all pulled together in one way or another. Very all springy, but yeah, I think she nailed it. Be sure to tell me what you think about this box down in the comments below, and don't forget to use the code LW10 for $10 off your very first subscription, or LW20 for 20% off in her past shop store. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye, everyone.